What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Abe. This is Eve Online. We're doing Minmatar combat missions with the security agent here in Gelfiven. Um, just wanted to show the loot that I got from salvaging and looting from the last mission. Uh, netted about 637k. And it gave us this micro warp drive, which I may just throw on the ship just to get rid of some of the... Uh, we'll unload charges there and I created a, a solo PvP fit for myself just to yeah, let's put that back out there stack it all up um, yeah just to kind of set myself up and see how much I would need per ship to get into faction warfare and it looks like 2.2 million per ship is about kind of where I'm at so so yeah, so let's see what taking this off and throwing this on does for us. All right, so our uh, our speed is going to increase substantially, which is good to know. All right, so let's grab another mission, see what this one looks like. Oh, a five-parter. All right, uh, I want to look this up though. So, let's see, I think that did it. Yep, here we are. After the seven, which is after the seven, here we are, Serpentis and Mercenaries. All right, so this is one of five, which means there's gonna be five missions here that we need to, to do, and they're all listed out here. So the first one, it looks like a bunch of frigates and uh, yeah, so they're dealing kinetic and thermal. I should be doing kinetic and thermal. So I'll use the titanium sabo ammo because that's my kinetic ammo. So we come back over here and we grab 2,000 of the of that. We drop it in there. And, oh, wait, yep, we're not, we're simulating. Yep, I want to exit the simulation. I actually want to use that ammo. And we're good. All right, so what I wanted to really check was make sure that I wasn't going to be fighting um, non, uh, let's just double check the bio here, Serpentis, Thermal, Kinetic, Kinetic, Thermal. So they're dealing Kinetic and Thermal. I'm, I should be dealing Thermal or Kinetic. You know, I... I may just stick with the, the normally I would switch over to fat, uh, phased plasma just to make sure I'm doing thermal damage, but I don't think I care that much. So, yeah, I'm just going to go, and I think we're going to deal with it. So, there it is. So, anyway, so previously we picked up about 600 and some odd thousand isk worth of, of loot. And in this one, we're going to go and engage with Serpentis and Mercenaries. So these, these multi-part missions are actually pretty lucrative usually because a lot of times they... Um, well, for one, they, they get you kind of more and more missions under the same agent which then moves you towards a storyline mission and also multiple part missions usually provide a greater faction increase than than before so all right so let's see and it looks like we're under attack so let's hit this turn on our micro warp drive and we are off to the races boom I think we need to keep our angular velocity to below 0.26, but we're, we're, we're hitting decently. We're not, I don't have anything to protect me specifically from, yep, yeah, specifically from the damage type they're doing. But 
if we take too much damage and get into armor, I've still got this armor repairer here that I'll be utilizing. But because I'm going so fast, this, I guess I should use a regular afterburner instead of a micro warp drive. It seems a little overkill. Not that that's a bad thing, but it makes it so I'm not actually orbiting. It makes it, here, let's, let's get in range here. And it's more that I'm just sort of boomeranging back and forth. And that's not ideal. So you can see that my speed is just sort of fluctuating around half because I go whipping back and forth. Um, my angular velocity is not where it needs to be based on my spreadsheet. But let's see here. I guess I don't need to look at it there. 735. Yeah. But when you're moving this fast, you can close distance really quickly. To the point where being 10 or 15 kilometers away, you'll be back in range in like three seconds. Protect the civilian convoy. Yeah, we notice that our range is also 960 kilometers now, or 960 meters. And we're almost done with this wave here, and I think with this mission said something about a second group but that'll warp off when I warp in so and my shields are coming back here yeah so you can see that there were there were a handful of, of enemies there I took some damage getting in and, and sort of starting to wipe them out but not so much that it got into armor which is usually the goal so let's uh let's go and loot and salvage i got the blue check and i think that's it for after the seven part one but as you notice with the micro warp drive things were kind of crazy with how fast i was going and uh with all of the you know trying to get within range and stay in range that that's maybe a bit more than than is ideal as far as how fast things might be going so, yeah, so much, much faster isn't always better, but in PvP it may prove better and worth doing. So we'll hang on to it. Looks like we picked up another one of those micro warp drives, which is nice because they're worth a decent amount of money and we'll probably want to use them in the future. So, so I think that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.